I am a ruralist. I'm also a realist. Not an urbanist, not an industrialist, but a ruralist. A ruralist is someone who advocates for the rural people and for the rural villages. Well, I'd like to call myself a ruralist. I was not born or raised in a rural village. I grew up in a city down in the south of my country, the Philippines, called Davao City. So this is the city where I grew up. So as you can, so this, I have nice memories growing up in the city. You know, our jeepneys, our small uh, World War II jeepneys, called our local bus, uh, our cars, and bright billboards. This was all in the 80s. And as you can imagine, as you can see, it was very hard for me to imagine what a rural village was growing up in the city. Not until when I was 11 that I discovered this uh, little book called Doctor to the Barrios by Dr. Juan Flavier. I was skimming through the early pages of this book, and uh, wow, it was my first introduction of what a rural village was. So this book is a collection of stories by a medical doctor trained, educated in the city, who chose to serve, live, and work with the rural village, with the rural people. So the, the, this clever doctor would devise ways of communicating ideas about modern medicine. Uh, they would create, uh, like teaching about uh, birth control or sanitation or nutrition. So these stories gave me those ideas of what a rural village was. Looking back to that day when I was 11, I realized that what made me so interested with rural villages and rural people is because of the contrast that I have seen. The contrast like uh, I, I see more cars and buses than trees and soil in the villages. The contrast of green, contrast of green versus gray in the city. The contrast of individualism in the city, you know? People are very busy in the city, but in the rural villages, collectivism. And the contrast of gray and green in the city. On that day, when I was 11, I chose rurality. I became a ruralist. So my big question is, is it possible to embrace rurality as a future of Myanmar? In other words, can we choose to be rural as we look forward in the future? Ruralization or rurality is about uh, developing uh, rural communities from the rural point of view, not from the urbanization point of view. Most of the time, we think of rural villages as transition in time, meaning if we just allow time to move forward, Rural villages will always become vill towns and cities. But several authors now and studies have found ruralization as a different view. Ruralization is also about bringing the rural character into our cities to make them more livable, more resilient, and even more sustainable than the cities we have now. So I offer three things, suggestions, ideas, how we can become a ruralist in the city, how we, can how we can embrace rurality even as we live in cities like Yangon. First, build rural villages in the city. More than half the population of Myanmar lives in the rural villages. 40% right? of our economic output comes from agriculture the livelihoods of all of our farmers and fishers. Here in Yangon, I like taking walks. You know, I would explore the streets and nooks and crannies of the city. And, and what I found are pockets of communities like this. You know, people would come together, celebrate, their, they celebrate festival together, enjoy food, traditional food. You can see the contrast of while high-rise buildings are high, you can see I can feel the village life that I can 
get the same feeling whenever I'm in the village. So I think we should promote these uh, rural villages in the city. Second, embrace nature. I must confess, I am a tree hugger. And one of the reasons that I love working for the rural villages and rural people is I get to see more trees. I get to, you know, be connected with nature. And one of the things that makes communities rural is because of their strong connection to nature, isn't it? Farmers have to work with soil and the rain in order to grow crops. Fishers have to work with the river tides, has to, has to understand the oceans in order to catch fish. So to be a ruralist in the city, we have to embrace nature. In 2019, there's a study from a university in Denmark that says that people who grew up in places with least access to green spaces have as much as 55% increased risk of developing psychiatric disorders like anxiety, depression, substance abuse later in life. So having more green spaces in Yangon and trees makes us less uh, crazy. <laughs> it's good for our mental health. So let us have more green spaces in the city. Let's ask our government to build more parks. Let's grow our garden in the veranda, in the rooftops. This makes our city greener. As Yangon, the high rises in Yangon go higher and higher, the trees should also grow higher and higher. As Yangon becomes greener, the more rural it becomes. Third, adopt a rural food system. Current studies have indicated that 80%, as much as 80% of our food comes from rural villages, from family farms. So the, qu the quality of our life in the city depends on the production and productivity of our rural villages. I've been living in Myanmar, working here for five years now, and I have enjoyed the diversity of traditional food here. Like uh, in the morning, I would eat mohinga after I, my morning run. No, the nutritious I can get from mohinga. Or the, the miche, the noodle from Shan. Or sipa, a simple vegetable dish from, North, from Kachin. Or maiton meat, stewed meat from maiton from uh, Chin State. This diversity is such an adventure for my Filipino taste buds. The more we grow these traditional crops, the more farmers grow a different variety of crops and vegetables. So we, as we consume more of this traditional food, we are also helping their livelihoods. And most of the time, these traditional crops are also more adapted to the climate, more resilient. And even healthier. For instance, take the, take the Myanmar chicken. The Myanmar chicken, they're small. Now maybe less meat, <laughs> more bones. They take longer to grow, but they don't need antibiotics. They don't need hormones. They're healthier. So the next time you buy our food, be a ruralist. Buy from the local farmer's market. Support traditional food. Support your traditional crops because that's how we become a ruralist in the city. So to embrace rurality, build rural communities, let us embrace nature, adopt a more rural food system. So in closing, I have all my entire life, I have still kept that book when I was 11. It's been sitting in my bookshelf in the office for I don't know how many years now. But while that book remained closed in that bookshelf, my heart and my mind remained very open to the rural people and to the rural village. Let us be rural by choice. Thank you.